Okay, it's January 11th, 2015. 1,320 hours. We're on board of the uh, Turtle Sundays, skippered by Wayne Conklin, skippered and, Bert and, and built by Wayne Conklin. A four year project. Wayne, tell us how you went about building this thing. Well, when I was a kid, my dad built a boat in his workshop, and him and I messed with that for a while. My mom didn't care for boating, but anyway, I guess the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, because over the years, I've decided that I wanted to build a boat. So anyway, I've been reading Wooden Boat Magazine for years, studying plans. I've bought several sets of plans, and uh, my wife and I talked about what did she want to build. She wanted. She wanted a boat that was stable when she walked on it. She wanted a boat that had deep sides, which this one does. Okay, we are Wayne Conklin on the Turtle Sundays take two. We had a little interruption there with a shoal that uh, <laughs> yeah. took a bite out of. So, so anyway, we uh, we settled on this set of plans from Glenelg Marine in California. I bought a set of plans, and since I purchased the plans, I bought all the materials. I spent four years building this. I've got books with probably 5,000 pictures. I've documented everything on the Glen L website in the Builders Forum underneath Turtle, or no, Tug Along 18. I've got 42 pages of pictures on their website, and I have talked several times with Gail Witt, who is the daughter of the owner and designer. He is 96 years old, and he's still designing boats. He has over 300 boats in his portfolio, and he sells plans all over the world. Tell us about the building process, Wayne. I started with a pile of marine plywood. It's a flat bottom boat, and it's what they call a displacement hull. They, uh, I used uh, the marine plywood along with the epoxy from Glen L. And uh, it just, you know, as a matter of love to uh, put this thing together and I, I didn't have to be in a hurry to do it since I have retired once. So it's just, I took my time and I designed the cabin on this boat for our liking. I have incorporated all the 12 volt systems. I've also incorporated uh, onboard water, onboard fuel. I have a sink with hot and cold water. I've had a have a propane fired hot water heater. And uh, it's just put it in the water a month or two ago and uh, been refining it some little details such as the last couple weeks I've uh, cut oak buildings and trimmed the windows on the inside. What, uh, what, give us a bill of materials of the type of woods that you used in various stages of the construction. Well I used, uh, you know, good, a decent fir marine plywood. Uh, the, the bottom is three quarters of an inch thick. The sides are 3 8 inch. I used uh, Douglas fir for reinforcement. You know, in the, any little members in the inside to, for structural reinforcement. I did make some changes to the plans for what I feel is a little better uh, strength factor. What was the keel and the main ribs made out of the framework? Well. It's what they call a stitch and glue construction, so there's not a lot of framing. 
I used the Douglas fir for any reinforcements that I needed to put in, such as the cabin beams. Yes. Anyway, uh, I used the Douglas fir, I used the marine plywood, I used mahogany, like for the dash, for example, I used some mahogany for trim. My gunnel is uh, Douglas fir, which has been stained and varnished. I trimmed all the windows on the outside with uh, basically a uh, fir fur material. I've stained it. So it's, uh, what are your plans for the boat? Our plan is to uh, trailer it to New York next summer and spend a few days, weeks, whatever is required on the Erie Canal between Buffalo and Albany, New York. Uh, when we were living in upstate New York, we boated on the Erie Canal and had a lot of fun on the canals, enjoyed it. And this basically is a canal boat. Okay, well thank you so much for your rendition and your beautiful workmanship. And thank you so much for allowing me to come aboard this beautiful ship. Well, anytime. Thank you again. All right. Signing off. All right. Wayne built this build out of, boat out of uh, cypress, redwood, cedar plywood hull over, over framing and then fiberglass over that and it looks like a it looks like a fiberglass boat pulled out of a mold. Bert Wayne was a auto body man for years and years.